We are currently in the middle of the calm before another storm. Volunteers using today's sunlight to help neighbors clear their landscapes before more rain arrives. Fox 40's Kristen Vartan gives us a look at uh, their acts of service and how it impacts the Elk Grove community and the environment. A group of volunteers are lending a helping hand or rake to Elk Grove residents and getting rid of all these leaves. They say with the second to last storm of the year coming overnight, this was the right time to do it. It's another warm storm. That's one of the things I probably should have let in with that people are probably feeling outside as well. Wow, it's warm, right? Well, these are atmospheric rivers and they're usually pretty warm storms. As Sacramento County awaits another storm overnight, the trees are bare, but the ground is not. Especially at this time of the year, one, something I recognized was that a lot of lawns are actually smothered in leaves. That's where these volunteers from the San Francisco Zion Church come in. Tuesday, they could be seen clearing the fallen foliage off Elk Grove residents' lawns. and gutters. It's a service they've done for years, but the first time this season. We serve veterans, nurses, teachers, and more. Because when the rain clears, those leaves could become a problem. The grass is not able to receive the sunlight as it needs, and you know, um, it's just not healthy for the grass. So at this time, we're really helping the community with cleaning up these leaves to make sure the grasses are staying healthy, especially as many homeowners are actually very busy at this time of the year during the holidays. Another concern, dead leaves that can also become breeding grounds for fungi. We might look at all the dead leaves on our roof or in our gutters and think they're disgusting, but to fungi, it's, it's like a buffet. You know, they, they can. They can eat them, essentially. They can grow on them. UC Davis Department of Plant Sciences Associate Professor Tom Buckley says the predicted warm storm coming only encourages that growth. Pretty much everything in biology happens faster if it's warmer. So in general, I think this happens when you've got an accumulation of, of leaves in the gutter that remain wet. Having said that, I mean, the gutters can, can often remain fairly wet, even in well into the dry season just because they're kind of sheltered from the environment. But over the next couple days, volunteers like Temi Salako are aiming to get those gutters and lawns cleared. For a lot of people, they're hesitant to reach out for help when it's needed. And it's just really sad to see beautiful lawns, you know, just go bad and, you know, sometimes even have to be replaced when just preventative maintenance could have solved the problem. Helping Sacramento County residents start off the new year with a clean slate, at least as far as their landscape is concerned. And if you yourself would like assistance in getting your gutter cleaned out or your lawn, you can put in a request for volunteers at sfzion.org. In Elk Grove, Kristen Vartan, Fox 40 News.